Welcome to this breakaway crochet tutorial. This video supplements the closed version of the joined daisies entry in the breakaway motif library. And I'll be going over how to crochet this swatch using breakaway crochet techniques. I will also be demonstrating the breakaway techniques we will be using, such as how to make a big floating treble two together, how to count petals behind the hook, and my suggested way of slip stitching when joining the daisies. You may also be interested in further information on breakawaycrochet.com, such as the written instructions for this swatch, any currently available projects that use the daisy motif, and further resources covering the breakaway crochet method in general. Please see the description for links. Let's focus now on the swatch itself, which is based on a daisy motif. It is a one round motif with six petals, and we will be joining the daisies at the tips in a hexagonal formation. We will be working this swatch as if it was a back and forth type of stitch. So let's start with the key technique that makes this possible. It's called a big floating treble two together. And to make one of these, start with two yarn overs. And now we're going to make a bigger than usual floating ring. To do that, do another yarn over and pinch the yarn near the hook, but not right next to the hook. Do another yarn over and draw the new yarn in with the pinch loop. So now we're pinching the yarn in two places near the hook. Yarn over and draw through the two pinched loops. And there is our floating ring. Now let's finish the treble two together part. And to do that, we use the loops that are already on the hook. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And now let's do the second um, treble two, or the second treble that will be a part of this treble two together. So yarn over twice, find the two loops that are the floating ring, and go through there, draw up a loop, Yarn around the hook, draw through two, two times. Now we've got three loops on the hook. Pull through all three loops to finish the treble two together part. So there is a big floating treble two together. So we begin each of the daisies with one of these stitches, the big floating treble two together. And all the remaining stitches of the daisy will be worked into the floating ring. So let's start now with the foundation row of the swatch. So start the first daisy of the foundation row with a big floating treble two together, just like I've shown you. Yarn around twice, a big floating ring, finish the treble two together part, And we've started the first petal of the first daisy. Continue with chain four and slip stitch into the floating ring. Now let's work some petals. 
to do that, do chain four, treble two together. Again, we work all stitches into the floating ring. Chain four. And slip stitch. So that is one petal made. Work two more in the exact same way. So three complete petals and the one we started with. And we're just going to start now the next petal with a four chain and the treble two together. And that brings us to the breakaway point for this daisy. So now it's time to start the next daisy in this foundation row. And again, you start with a big floating treble two together. chain four, and slip stitch into the floating ring of this daisy. Start the next petal with the chain four, and treble two together into the floating ring. And now that we are at the, this sort of joining point, we need to join the tip of the petal we're working on to the petal on the previous daisy. And just to make sure you know which petal to join into, we count back four petals from behind the hook. So if we've got the hook, we look behind the hook. There is one, two, three, Four. We go into this, the tip of this fourth petal behind the hook with a slip stitch. And my suggested way of doing a slip stitch when we're joining like this is again find where you're joining into. One, two, three, four. Four petals behind the hook. And I'm just going to go into that stitch here at the tip of this petal. I take the hook and just sort of dip it down, go through the stitch, and draw everything to the left. So the petal I'm working on on the yarn is to the left of the hook. And draw through a loop. And that's joined the second daisy. We continue with chain four to finish this petal. Work two more petals. So that's after the fourth petal. Again, we just start the fifth with chain four and treble two together and we break away to the next petal and that's worked exactly like the second daisy we've done here. So keep going until you have started five daisies to complete this foundation row. And here is what our foundation row should look like. Now for return row, we will be finishing off the daisies 
and coming back along the other direction. So to do that, just start with um, finishing off this first petal here with its chain four slip stitch. It has five petals, but it needs six. So let's do one more petal. So that's our six petals. Um, but remember this, this very first one that we made isn't complete. So let's finish it now with the chain four. And to finish off this daisy, we slip stitch between the current petal and the next one. So just go underneath between the two and work a slip stitch there. And that finishes off that um, daisy there at the end of that row. And just repeat that until you get to the first daisy. Again, chain four, slip stitch, work a petal, chain four, and slip stitch between. So I'll continue on and meet you again at the first daisy. So now to finish this um, last daisy of the row, but the first one we started, um, I've gone ahead, I've worked the first um, petal here. There's the slip stitch. And now I'll just do chain four. And this time, instead of a slip stitch between, we slip stitch in the top of the next um, petal. I'm going to skip over the slip knot and go into that next stitch with a slip stitch. So that finishes that petal there. So now let's start another row of daisies by working a joined foundation row. So if this was the row we've just worked. We add on the next row, but this time as we start the daisies, we need to join them in to the previous row. And also notice that since um, this next row kind of increases or tapers outwards. Um, this first daisy has special instructions and we're also tapering out at the end. So the last daisy will also have unique instructions. All the daisies in the middle will be worked the same. So I'll just show you that now. So start this Joined foundation row with a floating or a big floating treble two together. I might start abbreviating that to the big floating stitch because that's quite a mouthful. Okay, and since every daisy starts with that stitch, I'll be saying it a lot. Okay, so that's the big floating stitch chain four, slip stitch into the floating ring. Start the next petal, the chain four, and the treble two together. And we've reached a joining point for this first daisy. And again, as usual, we count back four petals from behind the hook. One, two, three, four. There is a 
is our joining point. Um, that's just that one there. So let's do a slip stitch into that petal. Chain four to finish the petal we're working on. And slip stitch in the floating ring. Start the next petal, the chain four. Treble two together. And this puts us at the breakaway point. And we're going to start the next daisy here. So again, start with the big floating stitch and the chain four slip stitch into the floating ring. Start the next petal with the chain four and treble two together. And we've got to join this petal back, um, counting back four petals, one, two, three, four. So let me lay that down. One, two, three, four. Now notice um, there's already kind of a join there. So we need to slip stitch into that previous slip stitch. Again, one, two, three, four. There's the petal. And just find where you've joined before and slip stitch there. Chain four. And slip stitch in the floating ring. Work one more petal the same way. The chain four, treble two together. And we have to join this petal. And again, we count back four. One, two, three, four. And again, that is where there's already been a join between those two. So that's where we slip stitch into. Chain four. Finish that petal with a slip stitch in the floating ring. Oops. One more joined petal, chain four, treble two together. Count back four petals, one, two, three, and four. So um, we've got finally got one that's not joined to anything. And that's our signal that that will be our last joined petal for this daisy when it's kind of a single petal like that. Chain four, slip stitch. And now just start the next petal. The chain four, treble two together. And we're ready to break away to the next petal that will sit right there. So the next three daisies, we work just like we've done here joining or just doing the big floating stitch which happens as the first petal we've got three joined petals and then the incomplete petal which breaks away to the next daisy all right so just work these three and i'll join you here so now i've um, finished those We'll put daisies off. We've got one more that goes on the end, and it's pretty much the same, other than it just has one less joined petal. So, again, we start with the big floating stitch, chain four, and slip stitch. Start the next petal. Count back four, three, four, and join it. Chain 
chain four, slip stitch, start the next petal with chain four, treble two together, count back four, one, two, three, four, let me do that again, one, two, three, four, and again it's that single petal that's not joined to anything. Chain four, slip stitch, and finish this daisy with another petal. And just start the next petal with chain four, treble two together. And that's the joined foundation row complete. Should be one, two, three, four, five, six daisies. And now um, it's time to come back and finish off these daisies just like we did on the first row. So remember, we've got to finish that first petal with the chain four slip stitch. Work a petal here, chain four slip stitch in between. So just adding one more petal for each daisy and finishing off the, these two um, petals here. Again, chain four, work a petal, chain four, slip stitch in between. And when we get to the last daisy, I'll meet you when I get to that slip stitch here. So there we are, back to that daisy on the left edge and we need to finish it on this row with just the start of the next petal. So chain four, treble two together. And that's that return row complete. So looking back at the original swatch, we have stopped right here at the tip of this petal. We've stopped in a different place there because we are starting to narrow the piece on each edge. And so that's where that joining point comes to this first daisy of this last row. So again, if you're going, you have to think about whether you're widening or narrowing and that determines where you stop on the return row. So in this case, we've stopped here. Then we've got one more row of daisies. Okay, again, starting with the big floating stitch, we join the second and third petals and just start the fourth for that first daisy. The next three daisies, they're just like we've worked down here starting with the big floating stitch join these three petals and start the next so i don't think i need to go through that again and the last daisy starts with the big floating stitch join three petals and start the next okay so i'll go ahead and work this joined foundation row which is, of course, like that. And I'll meet you right here. And there's this joined foundation row finished. It should be one, two, three, four, five daisies started along this row. And of course, the return row is where we finish the daisies we've just started here. And again, that's chain four, slip stitch, pick a petal, chain four, slip stitch in between, all the way across, and ending with just the start of the next petal on this daisy. So chain four, treble two together, and I'll meet you there. And that's the return row completed. 
And of course, the last business we need to tend to is to finish off the left edge of this swatch. So in this case, this daisy and this daisy are incomplete because they don't have um, the six petals. We finished this first one, so this is actually going to be the stopping point for when we finish this left edge. All right, so really all we need to do is make sure that these two daisies have all six petals and that the petals that are already started are finished. So we've started this petal. Let's finish it with the chain four slip stitch. And this is um, pretty much just like a return row. Except we're doing it along the edge and we might not have the same number of petals we're working. So let's work a petal here. Chain forward, finish the next petal. We've got our all six um, petals for that daisy, so slip stitch in between. This next daisy only has four petals. We need to finish the first one, the chain four slip stitch. This time we're two complete petals. And finish off the next petal with chain four. And slip stitch. Um, you might actually go in the stitch this time since it's at the end. And that finishes off the swatch. So I hope this video was helpful. Please write in if you have any questions or suggestions. And keep in mind that if you can work this swatch without too much trouble, then this will be a good preparation for any project that uses the daisies in this sort of arrangement. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.